Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Okay, I am in a different location. I am in the moon pool. In the Lost River area, I think it's known as. Let me show you. There's a big skeleton there. Wow, it's very dark, isn't it? After being in there, at least. Uh, yes, so we're, we're, we've set up base down here. I've done a little bit of work off camera just because it was so fiddly trying to get things to uh, sit correctly on this landscape. Now, the advice to me uh, was uh, go for the area around the tree um, and set up your base in there, but I couldn't quite get this moon pool to sit at a height that meant that Little Geek uh, didn't try and explode or break uh, at that uh, depth. So I went for this area here. Uh, I did build a thermal reactor. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, to stick it on the side of the, of the vent like that, but that's how I got it to work. And I put in a uh, power extension um, transmitter there, and now I have base power. And I'll just show you quickly from the outside here. And I do have some goodies in here. I have a nuclear reactor. Yes. So, yeah. And I built some of the things. I'll show you those in a second. But we'll we'll hop in the base. Um, it's my little portal thing. My hatch. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, I've put some reinforcements in. Uh, we've got two re reinforcements there. Uh, because we've got the hatch. And I did put a window in just because I wanted to sort of see what was going on out there. I don't know if it was the best idea to place this in this uh, location, but there we are. It is what it is. So here's the nuclear reactor. Uh, again, we've got uh, two, three pieces of reinforcement uh, in this area. Uh, we've got two um, base uh, pieces uh, to support the habitat. Uh, we've got our reactor there and we do have a planter and then I've actually put some lockers in too and we've got some materials, uh, we've got some lead, a lot of gold, uh, some gel sacks and lithium and the gel sacks are for if I want to make um, air gel or aero gel or whatever it's called and I kind of went scavenging for some stuff and we, we, d we hit the jackpot really, we've got a lot of crystalline sulphur uh, I made a wiring kit, we've got some diamond, I've got some, oh, I've got lithium in here. Let's move those into the other place. Uh, I've got some ruby. Now, what I'm short of is magnetite now, and I can't remember where that is. Uh, there's uh, some aerogel that I made and some lubricant, and we've got some more of these crystals for the reactor rods. And I've got some nickel ore there. So let's just put that lithium in with the other lithium. I've only got one piece of copper left. And um, we're short on titanium as well. Uh, we do have food and water. And the one thing I wanted to look at, I made a battery charger, I've made a fabricator and I made a radio. And the one thing I did want to look for, oh gosh, if I can remember what it was, I just wanted to see if I could make, is it a beacon? I think I wanted to make a beacon. Copper ore and titanium, we can. Right, what I'm gonna make this for, copper ore, titanium is for marking the exit of the tree cove um, area because it's quite it's quite awkward to try and find um, trying to get in and out of here I am getting better at it the more I'm sort of in this area um, but yeah I, I want to mark that a little bit better than I have already. So we've got nothing else in this base. It's very, very minimal right now. Um, now I want to go back to the old base and pick up some seeds so that we can get this planter full. And while I'm back there, I want to go and harvest some um, metals for titanium. Um, I might want to do a little bit of fishing too. So yeah. So let's jump in the sea moth. Did I have anything in the storage? No. 
Okay, that's okay. I could put that in there, but I need it for my fishing. Right. Welcome aboard it's, um, systems online. It's kind of nice being down here, I think. This isn't very well supported, unfortunately, just because of the, the way the floor is, but I think it is much stronger with those. I think it gives you that bonus without having to worry. So this is my little outpost. As I say, it's a bit gimpy the way that I ended up putting that on there. But it worked. I've got to remember how to get down into this area. So this is the tree um, that was recommended to me to put my base around because there, there are a lot of nice flat areas here uh, but I just couldn't get the height to work for me. Um, whatever I tried it was just too low for my little sea moth to go into. Um, it would be fine as a base for the cyclops uh, but not with the moon pool of course so mind you I didn't come all this way over I don't think but let's go and have a look Did I come in here at Warning. all? Oh, gosh. Maximum depth reached. Wow. Well, damage imminent. No, it's not. So that's the drop off down to, I'd imagine, the next area. Ah, oh, that's awesome, though. Yeah, so it's not this way that I'm wanting. Okay, that's fine. I've been playing another game this morning, and it's surprising when you've been away from a, a particular game for a little while and then you play something else it's, it's, it takes me a moment just to get back into the swing of that particular game but this is a great area I would like to settle in here at some point but you know, it just wasn't working out for me it is a very pretty area hmm. there you can see my base I was quite pleased getting that um, thermal generator to work and that's just as a backup at the moment because I've got the nuclear one. Uh, it means I'm not desperate for power and there's plenty of those little radioactive sources around here. Is it this way? That, yes, this is the way. Right, okay. This is the way I need to go. Right. So I marked the start of this blood route uh, cavern if you like. I need to mark the exit. <laughs> I just shocked him and he wasn't even going to come for me I think. That's awesome. Yes yeah, so this is a lovely spot and I've been collecting some bits and pieces from the uh, from the ground uh, avoiding all those spiders. Those crabs sorry. It's a nice, uh, nice spot to come for resources, and it's uh, very nicely lit as well. Okay, let's get through here safely. So the last thing we need to do is uh, to get killed down in this area and lose all our progress. Oh gosh. Right, okay, so we've marked this area. What I do need to do now is mark the other end of this sort of exit, if you like. Uh, we'll make it easier to get in and out. Um, there's a lot of those, uh, what are they called? Bone sharks, I think. In this, this space here. Which is not pleasant. So I think uh, if I put a marker somewhere around here... What do you think? Yeah, let's jump out. Uh, get this on number four. Okay, and can we rename you? Entrance, I think I'll call it if I'm spelling it right. That that will do for now. I'm not going to be too fussy. 
There we go. So that's the entrance down, and I can see the other marker down there. Now, that's the way I need to go out to go home. So, yeah, it's very, it's a very intriguing area, this one. And I don't think it's as far from my base as I, as I think it is. Um, well, maybe I should have put the, maybe I should have put that up here. Oh gosh, there's a warper. Let's just get out of here. It's not worth it. <laughs> so these must be the floating islands then. Yeah, those things there. Are they bone sharks? They kind of look like bone sharks. Oh, I don't like the sound they make. <laughs> awesome. Now what is that? That must be a creature egg. Yeah, so... When I come out of here, which I've been doing a little backwards and back and forth, um, I didn't realise just how close. But that should help. That should help me. Because I can get back to this area, and I've certainly been here before. Um, but I didn't realise quite how close it was to somewhere I've uh, frequently visited, so... Um, whether it's just me starting to realise things about the map, or I'm not sure. Probably that. Oh. Yeah, you're quite growly. I do think these are really nicely animated. I'm just going to stop and get a few goodies while we're out because uh, I've been using a lot of resources. I'd, I'd like lead really. Finding a lot of silver, which is fine, but. Uh, got any on there? No. Any on that one? I am getting a bit far away from the base. From the uh, sea mod, sorry. Okay, let's get back to the sea mod. Back to little geek. <laughs> Can I get in here? I did actually off off camera while I while I was um, gathering resources for that uh, moon ball that you've just seen. I did manage to. Um, trap my sea moth on the uh, on one of these um, things that touches the surface and I had to uh, drive the cyclops towards it and knock it off the uh, off the surface of this thing this outcrop um, yeah I grounded it it was it was uh, really annoying and I really don't like using the cyclops if I'm honest I'm not a fan I'm just gathering the sort of easy, easy and quick finds. Copper. We have a lot of copper back at that uh, other base, that new base, but I think I'm probably out at my original location. Oh gosh, there's one there I just missed. Sorry about this in and out all the time, but part of the game. But that uh, thermal um, reactor is very interesting, the way it works. It doesn't give you a lot of power, but, you know, it's it's something. I suppose it's a good start. Oh. Nice. Relatively safe area to just stop and do a little bit of gathering. I do actually quite like the, uh, the, the the sourcing materials in this game. Now. now that I know how to do it, it didn't really give me a lot to go on at the beginning. When I started out, I really didn't know anything about the game, and uh, I, I did struggle. But the 
this is the second season and uh, I've certainly got a lot further than I did the first time round with a lot of help, a lot of good comments and suggestions so now I've got to be careful because it was around here that one of these pillars touches the surface and for some reason I managed to get the the sea moth right up on top of it and sticking out of the water and I couldn't move it it was really annoying. You'll see, it'll be where the Cyclops have uh, left the Cyclops. I just parked it there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Parked it there in despair. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'm just passing through. Just going to grab any um, titanium that we see. Uh, yeah, I've got you. This is a great area for finding that, that scrap. Just want any that's lying on the surface rather than going after any of those um, creatures that like to eat them. Mm, can't see any. Right, let's avoid these feathers. And we're not far now. So if I turn around... Yeah, the entrance, I can actually see it from here. So I'll head that way next time. I'll head north out of the base and see if we can find it more readily. Because the other way that I've been travelling is so long-winded. And I've pretty much scavenged everything that's in this area, so I'm kind of running out of... Uh, resources around here. I don't know if they respawn or not. Uh, oh, your legs haven't extended. There we go. Oh gosh. That's so slow, isn't it? Let's go and have a look for some uh, titanium then. So somewhere where there are those uh, big kelp um, Structures, I think, would be a good spot to look. Yeah, there should be something here. We've got, we've got that fella. I can't remember what they're called. I'm so sorry. Oh, but there is, there is that down there. I'm going to go for. Ooh. Oh gosh, they sound awful, don't they? Cool. They don't like me being down here, but... Seek fluid intake. Oh, okay. Uh, Vital signs stabilizing. I didn't realize when I started this playthrough that there is an option for you to play without the need for food and water. Which would have made things a little bit easier, I suppose. if we could uh, actually get some daylight on the situation, wouldn't it? I'm not finding any of this scrap. I'm not really looking in the right places, though. Oh, there's some. You're not having that. That's mine. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the shadow. No. <laughs> oh wow, that was awesome. That was scarier from the uh, point of view of the shadow than anything. Right, how much room have we got? We've got enough room for a bit more. I do need titanium, so... What I wish you could do is turn it into those concentrated bars and then turn them back into the smaller quantity. And then you could carry more over. This is kind of an interesting place, isn't it? Really good spot to come and just swim around, I think. It's actually quite deep. Didn't realise that was quite so deep that way. Uh, oh, good. You just dropped me some. Oh, no, 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 that's mine. Give it back. 
I want that, please. Where are you? Let's chase him. Oh, my inventory's full. Let's let's run away quickly. Or swim away quickly. Well, you don't look very healthy. You're biting my ship. Let's get back then. Oh, he looks very ill. Yeah, big big geek, the uh, Cyclops, is just over here. So that's where I um, beached the uh, beached the sea moth. On top of one of these sort of efforts, I think. Oh, I don't know how I managed it. It was really quite annoying. Anyway, we are back. Turn the lights off. Let's go make some nice titanium. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'll probably have a think about what we uh, need to do next. But uh, materials are needed. Is this going to flash at me? It is. God, it's so bright. I haven't got a lot of room. Let's take some food. Water. I've only got room for one more anyway. Do we need more water? We need food. There we go. That's given us a bit of space. Uh, awesome. Right, what have we got then? We've got a bit of copper and some lead and some titanium and some silver. Right, let's put stuff away. Oh. Gonna need more storage. Right, gold. Well, we've got a lot of room in here. Let's stop putting the silver in with the gold. Why not? Um, lead. Yeah, lead was quite important for that uh, base build. Uh, we've got a bit of copper, haven't we? Oh, that's that's pretty good actually. We've got a little bit more than I thought. We've got enough. Um, uh, uranite. You ran. You ran. Inite. You ran inite. Oh, whatever. Got enough of that left for another reactor rod. Let's dump this titanium in here. Yeah, I came back and used what I had. Let's make some more. I managed to grab three lots, so that's pretty good. I think we should do with some more, so I am going to go out there and get a little bit more titanium, I think. And maybe do a bit of fishing too. So let's dump all this off. I want these, this full and I want my inventory full for when we go back to that other base. Um, just to, to give us some options so uh, we're not struggling all the time for titanium. That is full. Let's open this storage and start putting this water in there then. I think one food and water, leave that on us and we'll, we'll just get out there and start getting some, uh, yeah, getting some titanium. I'm going to take the seam off. I know it's a bit of a pain, keep docking and undocking, but it's quicker travelling between the kelp fields. All systems online. I love the recharge um, feature of the of that moon pool with the with this sea moth because I remember playing it the first time round, uh, forever charging the power cell. So uh, that's really nice that that's just instant recharge all the time now. Now, um, how's that looking for? Can I see stalker teeth down there? Oh, I can. Should we grab those? Because they're they're fairly rare. Uh, you never find them when you need them. So uh, let's get them while I can see them. Oh gosh, he, he nipped at me. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, what we want is your titanium, please. Now if you've been biting things and your teeth have fallen out, that means there should be some titanium scrap down here. There's a, a little outcrop there to, to hit up. This isn't really... Oh, there's some. And we've got you. A bit of lead. Oh, and we've got you here. We may as well get these things. Oh, that was titanium anyway, so that's okay. Is that some there? 
floating about? I think it is. Oh, we've hit the mother lines. Oh, have I, have I ruined your nest? I think I might have ruined his nest. Sorry about that. Oh, give me that. Yeah, give me that, please. Oh, he, he ate it. <laughs> so they actually eat that stuff. I thought they just chewed on it. It disappeared when he ate it in the sound. Oh, that's interesting. How much room have we got? We've still got room. Hmm. Let's watch where he goes. Where's your stash? Loads more stalker teeth down there. It's a bit of a shame they're not used for anything else other than uh, enamel glass. a big fish egg there. Now what I'm thinking is should I be gathering anything else while we're around this sort of area? Um, I can hear the Leviathan nearby or not too far away. Ooh. Welcome aboard captain. Let's try and have a nibble. Yeah, let's just have a look around here. I haven't been down here, I don't think. Ooh. Okay. Playing in your area. Well, there, there, there's a lot of... There's a lot of it here, isn't there? This must be where it spawns, maybe. Oh, I can't pick it up. I thought I was actually just swimming there. Okay. I've stolen their stash. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, okay. That's good. That that extra be beacon there has made that a lot easier. Let's get back home. We've uh, riled them up enough. Just see what this is. If we've got room to pick it up. Yeah, we have. And then we'll come back out and do a bit of fishing, I think, because we're running a bit low on fish. We've got plenty of salt, so we can do some curing of some fish. Get our stocks back up, and we need to do a sort of similar run um, backwards and forwards with the other base and fill up a, you know, um, storage container full of uh, cured fish, I think. Have one on hand over there. So we don't have to worry. And we probably could do a water filter over there too. Which would be interesting. Right. So. Let's do titanium. I like the fact that that is now visible to me from inside this base. So previously I've been heading south and then going in uh, around in that direction and down and through. Um, but that should be much more sort of straightforward. Much I could see blood root from there and I didn't realise. Oh well. Right, what have we got to put away? We've got some copper, lead and stalker teeth. No, I've got no room for stalker teeth. I picked them up thinking, no. Right, we'll put stalker teeth in this one of these bags. Why not? I kind of wish you could fill these up with water and then carry the bag. But anyway, uh, copper. And one lead and the rest is titanium. really put this away but I am going to use it now for the fishing. Um, habitat builder probably needs a battery change. 
Yeah, let's do that. Number three. Let's change the battery out and get that battery on charge while we're out. And then we can just put the uh, extra battery back in our inventory. There we go. Nice. Right, titanium. So let's fill this one up completely. We've got quite a lot left. Um, what should we do with the rest of this? I'm going to fill this up as well. Okay, uh, copper? Yeah. We'll just fill up everything and then let's go out and do some fishing. Um, do I need to eat and drink? Yep, we're full now. Let's go and do some fishing. So, we want peepers. Peepers, please. Come back, peeper. Lots of peepers. Uh, no bladder fish. Not today. Oh. Well, there's one. Okay. They were bubbles. It tricked me. There's one. There's another one. <laughs> oh, have a last gasp of air and freedom. And I'll uh, cook you up with some lovely salt. Oop, there we go. Gotta get some oxygen. Yeah, we've got a long way to go. Oh no, I don't want you. Whatever you were. I do want you though. Come back. Thank you. Oh. There won't be any left. There won't be any left. Oh, there, there you are. I don't think I need this many, but... I'm gonna run out. Oh, they're all over here. Here we go. There's a few. There's three at least. Oh no, I don't want that one. That one's infected. Does it know the difference? No, it doesn't seem to. Oh gosh. I'm already infected anyway, so I don't think it will hurt. The battery on this one. Yeah, the battery's going to run out on this soon anyway. So we can do the same. Same as we did before. Swap the battery over with a brand new 100% battery. It'll be totally and utterly sorted. Grab a bit of oxygen while we're here. didn't really work, did it? It was too low. Oh, look at that. Nice sunset. Awesome. Oh, we've only got three spots left. Okay, back to the base. That's awesome. Pretty good end to the day, I think. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is loading up the Cyclops with the Seamoth and all the titanium and supplies I can carry. And then heading over to that new base location. And then I can actually um, get in to the Seamoth and come back here and leave the Cyclops over in that area. That's the plan. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. So we'll see how that goes. 
I'm going to have to dump some of this off in order to um, pick up some salt, which is fine. So let's go to our salt store. We've got a lot of salt, so I'm not too worried. And let's start making some food. Uh, cured food. So. Yeah, so I'll grab the sea moss, put it in the cyclops, drive the cyclops over to that new entrance, try and get down into that tree cove area. Um, and then I can check into the base and dump all the titanium off, make some more storage. Um, hopefully transfer some food as well. Maybe build the water filtration unit. Um, and then come back and, uh, well, yeah, take it from there, really. Right, well, that's done that, okay. Now, what we are going to need to do is dump some of this food into a different location, because this is going to be full of raw fish gonna need to make some room okay so let's put the cured ones in there and then we're gonna need one two four five five lots of salt one two three four five to complete that row and we'll do the battery next for the uh, proportion cannon Right, so this should now be completely full of cured food. Uh, let's grab this salt bolt. Oh gosh. The salt from in here. Now, do we need water? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's uh, cure up these next couple. We'll see how much salt we've got left. Good, right, now do the battery. Uh, oh, I don't have one on me, so take you. You were 100%, weren't you? Yep, okay. Five, reload, change the battery over. Pop that one on to charge. There we go. I've got a few more bits of food. Put that away before I destroy anything in the base. Uh, oh, you're full. And right, lovely. So let's see how much salt we've got left. I don't mind using all of this up, to be honest. To get this uh, food finished. take a great big chunk of this back over we'll load it into the cyclops into one of the um, storage com uh, compartments down in the uh, bottom of the ship and together with the titanium and anything else we think is useful a little bit more than I thought. Right, awesome. So this is all going to go in here. And how much have we got left? Two, four, six. Six left. And what we've got in here? This was just water, wasn't it? No. Oh, that's okay. It's not empty. I do think this is weird, but I suppose it's just extra storage, isn't it? Um, good. Now, does the salt finish coming out of here quicker? No. Okay, that's good. We could always have a marble melon. 
battery is still charging. Titanium, we've got lots. Yeah, I just need to load this up now, really. Um, get some more water. We'll probably take the water out of this storage bag. 246 peepers and four water. I don't think they go off until you cook them. Um, so they could be good to transport over with me um, to the Cyclops. Yeah, that could be a thing. That is slow, isn't it? That battery charger. Um, now, was there anything else that I wanted to take over there with me into the new base? Probably take a tablet, probably take a couple of these ion cubes. Was there anything else I wanted to fabricate? While we're here and we've got all of these resources around us. Tools. Um, hmm. No, I don't think so. We could make one of these. We've got the lead, the crystal, the glass, titanium and stuff. Let's make one of those before we go. Um, before we finish. So we're going to need to, uh, that and that. Let's make some glass then. And then we need lead. One, one lead or three lead, I'm not sure. One lead and those crystals, which I can't remember where I put them now. Maybe with the quartz? No. Copper? Yes. Oh, there's a titanium in there as well. Let's use some of that up. And uh, I just want to take a, a spare reactor rod. He's made us sneezing. So, uh, yeah, we've got a bit of titanium, we've got some food water, we've got a spare reactor rod. Um, now, interestingly, that is all of that um, radioactive material that we have, I think. So, we could certainly go. Oh, we're out of salt completely, that's interesting. We're, we're going to have to um, go and gather some of that. Full. Just checking what we've got. Oh, oh yeah, gold and silver. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a magnetite. If I could remember where magnetite was, we'll certainly go and do a run of magnetite as well. Good. We're, we're fine for definitely fine for food for a long time now. Worth doing, I think. And water. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. Okay, so I think this is where I am going to leave this episode. We're going to head over and load up the Cyclops uh, with all the goodies that we can find, um, and the Seamoth of course, and then dump off the Cyclops in the new location, come back in the Seamoth and pick up anything else that we think we might need, uh, and uh, see what adventures we can get up to next time so thank you so much for joining me until next time take care and i will see you again soon bye for now